Hey everybody, it's Laura, and today I wanted to talk to you about this CoverGirl foundation. Now this is going to be the Healthy Elixir foundation. I have mine in the shade 705, which was the lightest shade when I purchased mine. Now this says it has vitamin E, B3, and B5. There is an SPF of 20. And this one says it is a full coverage foundation, which I don't agree with. While you can build it up, I usually use two layers. By the second layer, I say you're at a low medium at most. Definitely not full coverage. Now, well, the thing I like most about this foundation is gonna be the finish. It doesn't leave me cakey, it doesn't dry. It leaves a natural finish, which I absolutely love. Now, one drawback from this is the smell. The smell of this is a very artificial floral smell. But a good thing is it does not linger. By the time you're done smoothing and blending everything, the smell is usually gone. This one will oxidize on your skin. Again, that's why I got 705, trying to give myself some wiggle room. That way it would oxidize, but not too much that it totally mismatched the rest of my skin. I found that this foundation did last all day. The only place I got a little oily was on the chin area, which is okay. I do have extra dry skin, so it's kind of weird, but it's something I could live with. It wasn't too bad, so it didn't break down around my nose. A lot of other foundations do that, but this one did not. So final thoughts on this is give it a try. If you're wanting to try a drugstore foundation that's just you a natural finish without looking cakey, this I think would do the job for you. So go ahead and check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.